The last pieces of the Rugby World Cup jigsaw are falling into place and there's one more spot in the quarterfinals at stake as Scotland and Samoa meet at St James's Park, Newcastle upon Tyne. Been a bit of fog on the Tyne this morning too. It's a chilly day but it's fine. It's starting to warm up and the only real concern is about the state of the turf which cut up at scrum time during the All Black Tonga match likely to come under more pressure today. Well not for the first time in history there has been a wave of Scots pouring down into the north of England ensuring another 50,000 plus crowd in this famous football stadium. Scotland with the overall advantage and clashes between the two. But Samoa have the recent form with a win and a draw and the last two outings. Just stay there, guys. That's it. Your ball carries it out. Yeah. Take, take that back, guys. Nice moment for the young man. Shake of the hand from Khan Futuali'i. And how about this for Richie Gray? He's been given the honour of leading both teams out onto the field in his 50th match for Scotland. to make it even more special, playing alongside his brother. About 24 years ago, Scotland and Samoa met for the first time in a Rugby World Cup match when they fought out a quarter-final at Murrayfield. This time, a virtual knockout game for Scotland. For Samoa, it's about ending on a positive note. Maybe snatching direct qualification for Japan 2019. Definitely the last hurrah for Samoa. Can they knock Scotland off course in front of so many of their fans? Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Scotland and first Samoa, supported by the Newcastle Choral Society.
Murrayfield War transplanted 150 kilometres to the southeast. Feels like a home game for Scotland. But now for the last time at this tournament, the challenge that represents the determination of the Samoan warrior not to take a backward step. A celebration of their Samoan culture and their nationhood. Stand by for the Civital. The challenge from Samoa, kick off moments away in Newcastle. Well, last look at the team. Scotland captained by Greg Laidlaw. Seven changes from the side that lost to South Africa. So much for them to play for. They want to avoid sweaty palms for the rest of the weekend waiting on Japan against USA. Samoa also making seven changes, including a switch of captain Khan Fukuali'i taking over the leadership from Afisa Trevoranis for this match. Two PC brothers in the starting 15-1 on the bench and on the Scotland bench. A chance for Sean Lamont to become only the second Scotsman behind the man alongside me, Chris Patterson, to reach 100 caps if he comes off the bench in this afternoon's match, which he is sure to do. Now the crowd really revved up for this. Been some great clashes between these sides in the past. They've Met twice before at World Cups. Scotland have won them both. Samoa want to leave on a high note. <laughs> Referee from South Africa is Yako Paper. He'll be assisted by J.P. Doyle and Marius Mitreya, Ben Skeen, the TMO, and we're set for kickoff here at St. James's Park. <laughs> and it's Tussie PC who kicks off for Samoa, and straight away they get the ball back from the kickoff. Some good work from Ray Lilo. And here's an early touch for Alafoti Falsaliba coming into the side at number eight today. Khan Futuali'i at halfback. PC moving it into centre field. Leotoa, early touch for Nanai Williams and Kane Thompson who likes the range wide. Now the kick ahead from George PC. Hogg is in position though and slams it back downfield. And gets a nice bounce too. Now quickly thrown in Paul Perez playing on the right wing today. Powerful runner, but he's been cut down nicely by Ryan Wilson. Oh, Samoa look keen to move it. Pasavala moves it on Leotawa to Nanai Williams. 
such magical feet. Barcevalu now. And the veteran flanker storms into Scotland territory and fires a beautiful offload away to Lamb. Promising start here. PC taking it back. Passing it into his brother George. Now my Williams really is the key on attack for Samoa. Counter is good. To keep things moving too good. Quick recycle. Leotawa with the punch up. PC waiting. Now Taolo with a short ball away to Fal Soliva, but just, just overrun. got a little bit tangled just up just there. Well, a lively defender. start, Chris Patterson. And in fact, it's going to be a penalty. Which spoils a good attack from the Samoans. Yeah, yeah it's a bit across yeah. there, but let's take a right to see it here. This is a break from Fasa. He, he broke through. It was only one person to beat. It was Finn Russell who made the tackle, but this came after sustained attack from the Samoans. He's a bit wobbly from Finn Russell there. Almost hit a water car off the Samoa on the head, but that was a really good start by Samoa. A good unity. That's what they need, a team performance. Well, there's going to be, I guess, a bit of a Thanks question mind. mark over Finn Russell's fitness. He rolled his ankle early in the tournament. You have to imagine he's not 100%, but he's a key man. Yeah, he's a key man. Key ball player for Scotland. And Scotland have it at the line out through Wilson. Give it to Matt Scott, who's performed so well in the midfield, but that's some excellent work at the breakdown from Samoa, and it's number 40, Fal Saliva, who's done some great work to win the penalty. Yeah, it's another good start, it's not a continued start. That's good for Samoa. A set piece play by Scotland going off the top, hitting Matt Scott, the creative inside centre for Scotland, but he was hit really hard in the tackle. Penalised for not releasing, giving Samoa the opportunity to launch an attack in the Scotland territory. This is a ball off the line, it is Matt Scott, he takes it in. I think that's PC first, and Fasi Oliva gets over the ball, holds on. See three Scottish bodies there, can't move. Fasi Oliva off the ball, and he wins a penalty. Leotawa getting his first World Cup start. On the back of the Over 15 Paolo, Such a big man. And the referee, sack. I think, has got a penalty here for an illegal sack of the line out. Left Tower's made a lively start at hooker. Thompson waiting for a pass. They go beyond him, though, to PC. Not a great ball in the centre field. May have been knocked away by right one sack. of the Scots. They'll come back for the penalty. And Samoa are going to get the first Ball's chance for formed. points. Yeah, yep. and they deserve it. Another good line, a really well executed line out. First right to the tail and the, the drive comes at the tail you can see that i think it's richie gray sorry johnny gray down there penalized for collapsing it and it's a disciplined start by the samoans we keep using this word discipline but it's a good start they've got the opportunity to kick a goal and beef will be very happy with what he's seen in open four minutes it's been an accurate start and as we wait for the kick we welcome him to this commentary wherever you are watching around the world i'm sure lots of scotland fans watching this and to the fans of Samoa, Talufa Lava, Afio Mai. Amongst the crowd today, a lot of fans from north of the border. But it's the Samoan fans who'll be on the edge of their seats as Tulsi PC with the first opportunity for points in the game. Looks pretty good. And that's a good start for Samoa. A lovely kick by Tusi Pisa there. He's a nice kicker, a nice striker of the ball. And that's exactly what Samoa are looking for. They've quieted this crowd that was obviously so boisterously behind Scotland pre-match. But the control, the execution, and the three points for Samoa have quieted that good start by Samoa. So Russell puts the restart down into the 22. Dumped on his back by Hardy. And the clearing kick has not gone into touch. Russell takes it just inside the half. Finn Russell fires it away to Seymour on the left wing. Slips the tackle of Perez. Farsavalu had to get out and make the tackle. Here's WP now hit hard. No more. Lofty. Lofty. Scotland. Hogg 
open the line. Now straightening and straightening nicely as Scott. They slip it away to Hardy. Now Gray, that's Richie Gray. The older of the two brothers in the Scotland team. Fighting for it though in there. And uh, doing well as Tim Nunai Williams to wrap this up. Scotland will have difficulty freeing this. It's a turnover. I'll take about one of the smallest men on the field, Tim Nunai Williams. He got there. He held up. Up. And they couldn't get a ball Taking to in. deck. The referee, Jaco Piper, called ball, and it's a turnover. But it's a nice break from Scotland there. One or two lovely offloads, especially from this man, Matt Scott. A good delayed pass initially by Hardy, and then this is where the, the tackle was made. You see, actually, Nanny Williams, he didn't he strip, they picked the ball up and turned over. You could argue his knees on the ground there. Please take my mark. Yeah. Yeah. This is Jaco Piper saw the ball came loose and popped up again. But this is an interesting area of the game, Samoa have had a strong scrum. So Let's far, 95% right okay. accuracy in the own ball. Yep. You go to the left, right there, and you okay, go to the Scotland left. Okay. Feet up. Chant going up for Scotland, but it's Kato Aliki these days playing out of the Northampton Club in England. It's going to be interesting just to see how the turf bears up because it took a pounding in the All Black Tonga match. Yeah, and the Samoans there's a little are bit of movement lined up ways. as if they're going to run this as well, Tony. Full width of the field, they've got Perez almost in his touch line to the right hand side. Settle down quickly. Stability. Shoulders up. They are told, stepping down with two such seasoned professionals. Census Johnson and Big Moose Tolapo. Bye. Sit. That's a penalty. And it's gone and against the Samoan tight head. Census Johnston, he's not at all impressed with the call. He looks amused, but I bet he's not really laughing. No, it's a right smile, but I think it was a correct call by Yako Piper. We saw a great shot here. And that was low. Uh, Dickinson's low initially, and you see the first shoulder hit the ground is that of Census Johnson. And I think Yako Piper just stamping his authority in the game. I, just, I don't want to load the ground and pushing down. Just up. There's a, there's a confirmation, yeah. Yako Piper said to Census Johnson, I don't want you pushing down, I want you pushing up. He's got loads of experience in that front row, plays in France. Well, this is such a bone of contention, that, because he signed an extension to his contract with Toulouse, but Toulouse insisted that part of the deal was that he retire from international rugby. And since this Johnson answered the call, when Longoviti Mulipola pulled out, Toulouse not too happy about it, but it's good to see that the man has put his country ahead of his club. And here's the kick from Greg Lightlaw, and it's over, and it's 3-all. Yeah, it's Her Royal Highness, Princess Royal, Princess Anne, patron of Scottish rugby, she will be delighted with Greg Lightlaw's contribution there. The penalty awarded at scrum, and the captain, the skipper, makes no mistake, and it chips over the penalty, 3-all. So, PC kick to the far side of the ground at all some superb work again release Tamor getting it back PC taking it to the line popping a nice ball in field to Lilo breaking foul Saliba support from Lamb and Samoa get the first big chance of the game PC into the corner They'll go to the TMO. Ben, try no try. Chicken but Samoa looks confident. Sausage, try no try. Correct. This is going to be tight. Otherwise, we've got an offside advantage for the attack. Uh, Look at Sensors Johnson playing his first receiver. And here's Pieces attempt. That looks good to me. The tackle comes in from Matt Scott. Does he get the ball down before it touches the ground? Looks under control. There's downward pressure. I think that's going to be a try to Samoa. Well, they were getting very jammed up on the touchline, but he's done superbly here, Tussie PC. Fine, thank you. One more look just to check the grounding. 
Any separation between hand and ball? And no. A real speed to finish, please. We're going to have a look at it in real time as well, but what a wonderful effort by Tusi Pisi to stretch out with his right hand. Make the corner under the Thank tackle you. of Scott. Thank decision. Thanks, Yanko, mate. Yes, man. you may award the try. I agree, thanks. Try it is to Tusi Pisi, and Samoan lead by 8-3. Well, that was a fantastic try, hitting back right away from the kicker, but the second kicker for two, Samoa have won back the recycled possession. Masilo Savaliva broke the line, the support was there. And an up step, Samandro talking about Census Johnson, the first receiver to release this man, Tusi Pisi, for a try in the corner. And it was a deft pass, wasn't it? Lovely soft hands from the big man who moments ago was ruining a penalty against him. Well, they've hit back and it goes back to that restart by this man putting the ball right where he needed to. Good strike too. Well, he's made a brilliant start to this game. Tusi Pisi and Samoa lead Scotland by 10 to 3. Well, this is the initial break that comes after the one kick off back. The ball inside to Perez and look at the line cut with Fassi Oliva there. He offloads off the deck. The lamb is a good seven, always in support. And then Winnesu Cycle, just watch this from Census Jones. The delayed soft hands finds his 10 and Tusi scores. George PC in the action this time, fielding the restart. And now Tussie moves it on. Nanai Williams, oh, a loopy pass, and oh, this could be a try for Scotland! Seymour! Ben. Well, they need to check this just to make sure there hasn't been a knock on. We just want to check whether it was touched by the uh, player and then touched by the opponent and then uh, caught. Just looking at a potential knock-on, try yeah, no we're try just checking scenario. Whether, when you knock, the other player touches, then it's a knock-on, whether you grab, uh, gather directly. OK, so after it hits Tommy if, Seymour's if it's fingers, forward, and uh, opponent it touches it, can't uh, hit an before opponent. you regather, it's yeah. a knock. So Tommy Seymour's knocks this forward, if it then hits Perez's hands, sure. I think it's deemed as an knock There's no doubt about the grounding. Well, it depends who's hit it first. Is it Perez first? Simultaneous almost, wow. isn't it? Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to slow this one down. Unless it's the lower. That's, that's the question, is it? Yeah, I think, that, I think that's his general play, yeah. That's not enough, no. Yes, I have a decision. A great shot. Yes, Ben. Yako. Yes, Ben. It's general play. It's come from a white player onto a blue hand. Blue have regathered, so you may award the try. I do agree. There's no knock on there. It's a try. Try Scotland. Yeah, Tommy Seymour got the double checks. A wonderful camera work. Did you end on the action? And it was a judge to Tommy Seymour. He will regather it. There's no doubting at all. I'm at the grounding, and he's Scotland, hit back immediately. Nana Williams threw a speculative pass, it hit the turf, and that man there, Seymour, was first to react. Well, having made such a great start, Samoa take their first real risk of the game, and it backfires as Tommy Seymour hits back for Scotland, and the kick from Laidlaw is over, it's 10 all. Well, here's it again. Samoa lined up, ready to attack. PC throws a wide ball to Nana Williams. This ball hits the turf. And then, well, Seymour just re reacts. There's no doubting about the grounding. It was in general play as Perez reached it. Seymour reached at the same time. He scored, and look at the reaction. Scott's back in the game. So the team's back on level terms after a pulsating start here. And this one falls for Ray Lilo. So Samoa doing so well off their own kickoffs. Leotow, a beautiful short ball to Tolapo. He's caught just 10 metres short of the line. It's a penalty, almost a professional foul. Taken quickly by Fotoali'i. PC tops it off. Leotow is in. Oh, can this game continue? At this rate, and this is a phenomenal start. Wow, what a start. It's punch and counter punch. That's the name of the game. And what a score by this man, Manoliatau, in his first Rugby World Cup start. 
Samoa have won all three of their kickoffs back, launched attack after attack. Some wonderful offloading and line breaking. Forty a lead to the quick tap. Scotland weren't ready. DC delays the pass. Wonderful pass. The ball out the back. Leatawa will he dies over the line. Oh, strap yourselves in, folks. Sit back and enjoy this because if this game continues like this, we are in for something special. The skills or the Samoan 15, it doesn't matter what number they have on their back. They're playing without fear, they're playing with a smile on their face. And they've scored two wonderful tries already, and it's only 40 minutes old this match. And how about the run from Saktal Lapo? He was the man who made the big inroads. Now, PC has a kick about 13 metres in the, from the right wing touch. It's his restarts, though, that have fired Samoa. So accurate. This one he's just dragged away to the left. But it's 15-10. Already we have seen three quality tries. Well, the Samoans are happy, and so they should be. What a start to this match. Two beautiful tries, as you say, formed from the restart. But winning the restart back, can Scotland get this one back? High but deep from Russell. Alaforti Falsaliva, man with a storied career in sevens rugby behind him. Fotuali kicking in the hog, he has this in midfield, so a chance to set up the counter-attack. In fact, this is hog taking the pass from Russell. And now Russell on the ball, he's got Gray with him, flings the pass wide, oh, big hit back. From George PC, bubble ball referee. I think just playing advantage here. There was a knock on from Samoa. Got Gray quickly onto his brother, slips the first tackle. And Johnson came flying at him. Russell moving on to it, taking the ball on the line and then offloading to Nell. Late law, he milked the penalty beautifully here. Ball ripped away by Paolo. And now Maitman coming in from the wing and making ground. The offload. By on is that all? Well, some exhilarating rugby. And now Russell with the step. Now go back though for the penalty. And that was beautifully milked, that penalty. Catching Samoa offside. Smart play. And now they've got the option of a, a long-range kick. Or a chance to put the ball deep for a line out. Yeah, here's the penalty here. Finn Russell using Nell flat at the line. And from here, number four for Samoa's offside. Greg Laidlaw knows that. He picks and goes. He runs into the back of Philo Paolo. Milks the penalty. And interestingly, Scotland have decided to go to the touchline. The tempo of this game in the opening 50 minutes has been phenomenal. It's been wonderful to watch. Both teams playing at a pace that the defence can't live with. It's full. And as a result, we've had 25 points in 15 minutes. 94th test match for Ross Ford of Edinburgh. And Ryan Wilson takes it down. Some more going to be penalised here for taking the legs out. Gray on to Hardy. Taken just inside the 22. Good contest there. Eh? They'll come back for the penalty. Four. This time, early an drive. opportunity, early surely, for first. three. Early drive. Yeah, it's an early on drive. Left, Two penalties in a row against that man, Fuller Paolo. Line out, early drive. Scotland, well, they're sticking to their guns. Finn Russell bangs in a touch. Scotland early being brave. And on the lifter. Just they're the always ball brave, Tony. <laughs> they're always brave, and they'll have okay. to be disciplined here, as will Six. Samoa. Through to the front of the line out. A minute ago, where will they go this time? Oh, that big stand providing a magnificent backdrop here as Johnny Gray goes high. Good counter drive initially from Samoa. Now they try and roll it away. And with Denton in front, they start to get things moving. Kane Thompson's come through the middle. He's managed to halt their progress. Denton is waiting one off. And here he goes. Oh, he's dropped it. Turnover possession, though. Referee said they were offside again. Just have to be careful here, Samoa. Yeah. 
Don't want to give away too many penalties. Just had a number there, of them, yeah. Just couldn't hold the pass. Okay. Run out the first couple of the defenders, all of them side. came offside and never adjusted. And Jacques Piper yeah. just cleaned yeah. up the first couple of defenders closest yeah. to the ruck, came offside. Off of them all. And then didn't back track to get onside before they're coming forward, bringing re great line yeah, so. speed to the defence. And this time, <laughs> Skipper Laidlaw decides, uh, you know what? Off that more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Yeah. Like the first three defenders, they're very flat and then they never adjust it. 11, 3 and 5. 11, yeah, 3 and 5 like also. Yep. Just outside there. Just at the breakdown. They're just oh. grabbing this one and trying to open up. Okay. Well, right. Well, a bit of intensity, there's a bit of romance out there as well. <laughs> well, the shot at goal from Greg Laidlaw. Looking to pass Dan Parks. And becomes Scotland's fourth highest point scorer in Rugby World Cup. He's got eight of them, second penalty of the game, and it's 15-13. Almost a quarter of a way into the match. Now, when you're Bern caught up, you'll be screaming at your team. The last, the three kickoffs previous, Samoa have led to points. This is where Scotland have to concentrate. This is where Samoa want to do the same again. Two CPC, a lovely chip ball. Get underneath it and win it back. Now the last two have gone away to the left. This time he goes more down the middle. Hardy going up. In fact, it's Hobb coming forward. A little run tidy, but Laidlaw gets it back Stop. to Russell. And here is Fal Saliba. Powerful runner man who scored a great try against the All Blacks and Apia earlier on this year. Juicy PC. To Lamb. And now Nanai Williams bring up some nice space. Leon makes another good run. Ray Leelaw! Pops the offload in field, not taken, but not knocked forward. So here comes Samoa again. Johnston taken out in front of the posts. The switch away to Nanai Williams. Beautiful pass away. And Lilo's in for the try. Well, the referee wants to check something here. Do you perceive it? Just about. Did you see any knock on there back then? It was off his legs. Kicked. Off his legs, so yeah, no, yeah. no knock on. Thank you. Off his legs. Yep, Ben Skeen's checked it as well. Do we have to check? No, you don't. He's already checked. He was so right, check Jack on paper. Here. He said play on. What did Ben say? Play on. Yeah, the try's been awarded. Ben Skeen said so you don't need to check. I've had a look already. The ball wasn't knocked on. It came up the leg. Real Lilo this time. Celebrated try, but Tim Nana Williams is scaring Scotland's defence. He's carrying the ball to the line. They're standing off him, and when they do engage, he just slips in lovely passes. Here, Paul, this is the initial the break. Jack Lamb out the back, and this is what I mean. He just holds the ball, and then Lee Lowe comes forward. This should just have been a normal pass. That's where Scotland are asking about the knock on. There was no knock on, it came off Lee Lowe's legs, and they were quicker to react. Well, some smart play from. Fa'atuina Altangavaya, he was the man who just kept things moving. And this is where Nana Williams gets his second touch. He holds it, he's just dragging the defence onto him. A lovely delayed pass, and Lilo, well, you won't stop him. Crashing over for his try. PC from wide out, the attempted conversion. It's away to the right, Ray Lilo, who has made a lot of ground already in this game. First try for Samoa, and what a cracker. Watch this delayed pass there from Nana Williams, and then again from PC, Lilo, well, he just went straight for the line. Wonderful start by Samoa, three tries already. Oh, Saliba with the big dunk come Monday on Alistair Dickinson. And look at the spirit that they're playing with. They are so fired up here, Samoa. There's been a knock on, though. Let not see anything wrong there. not see anything wrong there. Alistair Dickinson would not be used to being okay. sat on his haunches like that. No. Got, got first, he's loose head first to chase with the kick, and he goes high. Go. He's knocked down. He gets back to his feet pretty well. But look at the collision. Look at the determination from both players. Uh, this is a physical one, all right. We know the Samoans bring the physicality. They've got a bit between their teeth. They're looking at, to prove a point, Arne Fasa Valiva there, carrying hard. 
for his team, carrying hard for his nation. <laughs> Well, he appreciates it. He's smiling. And he's on his feet. No, that's the thing. He was on his feet. Well, a change is going to have to be made here. Gordon Reid going off. A red brother coming on. Alistair Dickinson. Is any doubt what this is about? Actually, James Robson, Doctor James Robson, the best in the business. He won't take any risks. He's taken Alistair Dickinson off for an assessment of Scotland that ready to launch the scrum. There's Gordon Reid from the Glasgow Warriors. Nice drop away from the arms. Both of the elbows up. Crouch. Bind. Set. The pitch is held up well. At the back. Lost Rose have gone down. Well, one of them has. It's there for Scotland. Russell moving on to it. The double punt and then the pass away to Matt Scott, setting it right in the middle of the field. Vonage floated down. Penalty advantage against Samoa here. Now here's Maitland trying to thread his way through the defence. The Negro East almost got through there. Beautiful offload away to Hardy. Inside the 22, they go. Ball spills out on the Samoa side. It's a penalty. Another offside. And this one right out in front for this man, Greg Laidlaw. Yeah, Scotland winning the penalty. A nice attack of the scrum, no, the late cut with Matt Scott. But Jack Lyon works really hard on the inside to make the tackle for some more. So, I think it was handling back. You can see the hand coming back there. Got up, beating it. Uh, you could argue. He's on the feet. This is Greg Laidlaw busting through one tackle. Watch this offload. Pops it up. Beautiful soft pop to Hardy, who was brought down to tackle. Knock on from that. Scrum, uh, that rack, sorry. We come back for the penalty. Scott will need this just to calm everything down. Greg, three from three. This one's behind in front. <laughs> the only problem with kicking this is they have to field the next restart if it goes over. Some more have been brilliant on their own restarts, but here's a chance just to keep in touch. Right out in front, late Lord, not going to miss from there. It's 20 to 16, and this high rate of scoring continues at St James's Park. Samoa lead by four. 24 minutes played, 36 points, three tries for Samoa, one for Scotland, and they've all come from the kickoff. We keep saying it. Scotland have to get their hands in it here. Some more. Well, they're just happy to do the same again. Win it back. Starts from a wonderful kick from PC. Here he goes. That's a great chase again. And a collision in the air. It was Alpana Baya got up after it. It might be Ryan Wilson who's gone down. He does not look in good shape at all. Wearily getting back to his feet. In fact, two of the Scottish players are down, but play continues. Here's Maitland, dangerous in space, but too close to the touchline. I think the replacement, Gordon Reid, is the other one who was injured in that collision. Altano Vaya looks a little the worse for wear as well. Yeah, that was a fair collision. It was obviously everyone making a, a genuine attempt for the ball. That man, Wilson, was hit in the air, and the, everyone landed in Gordon Reid. All that eyes on the ball, fair challenge. And the there, beautiful Gordon Reid's leg yeah, is caught call. under the two Very players. Very good call on collision in the air. Thank hitting you. the ground just in the air. And now Gordon Reid's on as a head right. injury assessment replacement. As you see, that's Ryan Wilson that's pretty as well. Much what you the floor. He's on as a replacement yeah. Yeah. for Aston Dickinson. Wow. So the Scotland front row is taking a pounding early on. Yeah, Wilson looks OK. Altunga Vaya walks away, just hobbling a little bit. So I think... Gordon reads okay as well. Well, it's going to be a Samoa throw, so they do eventually get the ball back from the restart. One of the try scorers, Manu Leatawa. Taolo knocks it down. Fotuli, he gets rid of it quickly. Lilo, who's made a tremendous start. Russell goes backwards at a rate of knots. Fai Saliba. Johnson picks it up. Nanai Williams. He's in the middle of everything. Although this is awkward although they've got it back now Fasavalu pops a nice ball away to Fasaliba the loose board's working well PC now stabbing Touched. one through takes a rebound Lilo's after it all oh, boy the is blue. snapped up by 
by Seymour now for Scotland running into a bit of space. Then runs into Lamb. Space closed Run. quickly. Maori Vasavalu has gone down. He's not looking too good. Good work here from Mark Bennett. The centre. And the kick from Laidlaw. It's Paul Saliba having to race back. And it takes it. He's got Nanai Williams away to his left. Wisely chooses to pass it. And Nanai Williams looks just to calm things down a little with the kick. Well, once again, we won't be able to see it here. Privilege to watch it. This is after another break from Samoa. Okay. And PC pops the ball up. Lilo thought he's he had it. Reversal. And then Scotland think, you know what, we're 10 metres from our long line. Well, we're part of this game too. Jack Lamb putting the big shot in. Well, Thomas Seymour, then Mark Bennett fighting his way through Chief, one, Chief, two, Chief. three tackles. GMO, check, check. I tell you what, this is a fantastic game of rugby. It's only 27 it's minutes old, GMO, and we've had everything so far. Well, oh, you can see looking there going down the with Barcelona, clutching at the wrist. There's no. Mark Bennett. The you know, team right? Have you got here? something clear there, Fuzz? Yeah, we're looking at potential foul play. Correct. We're just trying to find an angle for you. OK. Please don't help play against. It's against blue. There's your angle there. Oh, a step. We're going to try and get a wider screenshot right, of yep. that. So we can see where he connects. Well, he's being held, Sorry. but he's lashed out with his boot. Is. You just can't do that, no matter what the provocation is. No, it's Tommy Seymour on the break, but that's not what we're looking at. We're looking just behind the ball, as you see. Ryan Wilson, so it is number six and blue. six. Six. Initially, Yako, he is held by white number six. Yep. But then to release himself has stood on the point of uh, the white player's shoulder. Shoulder. Uh, so sorry, not shoulder. His arm. Arm. So sorry, it's not Yako. in the face. It's not in the face. Are you uh, happy if I give a yellow card for that? Yes, I am. And that's number six? That's number six, blue. And the place is over there? Yes, we'll okay. have the mark for you. Well, Ben Skeen throughout this tournament has been very clear and concise. The communication between the two. Here's the explanation. Listen, yeah. this is clear intentional <laughs> foot back. Okay. He's lucky that it's on the arm, okay. so it's a definite yellow card. Okay. And no more of that from you guys. Can we just stop him? Okay. It's on the arm. Oh, he's, he's in the middle of the play. Yeah. Well, Lake yeah, arguing about the holding on, and we all know right about that. And it is a bit of a blight on the game, but the fact that you just can't take matters into your own, Penalty. well, feet in this occasion. Well, no, yeah, no, I mean, he has been held back, Ryan Wilson. It's the fact he turns around and then sees him. There's not a huge amount of yes, it's a stamp, it's on the arm, it's, it's on the shoulder. But you can't do that, you cannot stamp, you cannot Here's thrust your, your boot down in that direction. Sorry. And a penalty goes against penalty. Ryan Wilson, and he's also going to spend 10 minutes Thank in the Sinbin. A penalty opportunity for PC. Well, he's been putting himself about in a very positive fashion in this game. Ryan Wilson, some good line-out work, good general play, but on that occasion just letting his frustration get the better of him and what it means is they'll play 10 minutes with one down facing more points through this kick second penalty attempt of the game and chipping it between the uprights Tussie Pisi and Samoa Extend their lead to 23 points to 16. Yeah, no doubt at all, Tusi Pisi had a wonderful kick through just before that. Fearing his attack well, he's carrying the first receiver and second receiver. He scored the try, he's kicked a few points as well. And he was never going to miss that one. Frustration is the right one to use for Ryan Wilson. He can't do that, he's in the big change for, for Samoa. Well... Saw some royalty. Here's a bit of rugby royalty in the house. Jonah Lomu, who's been here enjoying himself, talking to the fans. Big roar goes up to as they recognise the, the legendary player. Well, that's a blow. Losing Kane Thompson. I feel it Levave coming on, but he's really more a loose forward. Battle Saliba. Taking the ball from the restart. And oh, low pass to Tusi Pisi. 
Oh, a great hand, doesn't it? The two CPC. I thought he was going to pull the long barrier out there. But wonderful, wonderful skills to pick up from his bootlaces. And get his clearance kick away. Arguably, Levavi coming on, being an extra loose forward, may, may actually help some more the way they're playing this game, the way the, the game at the moment is being played, it's open. Certainly a powerful ball carrier. Well, Scotland, this is a must-win game for them. Ball. They win the ball through Richie Gray. Ball from the side. And they have penalty advantage here too. Player coming in the side, but they want to drive this away. Hardy it is. Put on the ground by the new man, Levavi. Now the little chip kick through from Russell, going back on. Fingertip stuff from Futu Ali'i, off he goes. And I tell you, there was nothing ahead of him, but the, side. the referee was playing advantage for the penalty. Yeah. Same man, Fula Powell again, in at the side. And here's Bern Cotter. Okay. He'll be disappointed yeah. with the number of points All conceded. To start with. 23 in 30 minutes already. But from that line, Scotland chose to drive it. Philip Powell came in from the side. It's a third penalty against the big number four. Pops up the corner, six metres out from the line. Oh, it's a good kick from Russell. And now the crowd sees that this is Scotland's chance to level things up, maybe. Check on four because he's on two penalties on the And you might have just picked it up there. Philip Paolo, the subject of a discussion between captain and referee and it goes to Johnny Gray they set it for the drive Hardy in the boot Laidlaw says you backs get in there almost disengaging there Hardy getting close to the line Hardy is over Well, listen to the reaction, Tony, and a smile, a royal smile as well. The Scotland hit back. John Hardy parking himself at the back of the rolling ball, keeping the ball under control. Scotland his second try in two games in Rugby World Cup 2015. I thought they would have another look at the ground then. But Yaku Piper was right in the spot. You see Greg Lidlow calling the troops in. Sean Maitland, Matt Scott, they're not used to being in there, but they had their weight. And at the back of that, Hardy's keeping the ball under control. Seven the spin off to the left, the let's check the grounding. Well. Well, you can see Yako Paper, he did come around. He had a better look at it, I guess, than we did. <laughs> I think Greg Lidlow's going to chip this conversion over as soon as he can. Over it goes, and the scores are level 23 all. Thrust and counter thrust. John Hardy, the man who is something of a controversial selection, qualifies for Scotland through a grandmother in fight. But look at paper there. We can't see the ball being grounded, but he's satisfied he can. Yeah, good referee, right on the spot. Clear view. And he scored against Japan in the open match. He's got his second try here in his second Rugby World Cup. Fixture, John Hardy. And Seymour wasting no time. <laughs> and an ironic, back down field. An ironic cheer. Listen to that. A cheer going up for catching the kick off and clearing the lines. Gaining 40 or 50 yards. Great atmosphere. Well, John Hardy. Yep. Those who were questioning his selection will now be offering up a little thanks for that grandmother and five. Second try of the tournament. He's been busy so far as well, attacking and defensively. His support lines, he worked so hard as a good number seven shoot. Ben will be happy with his contribution so far. Coming to Scotland after eight years, really a dynasty at Clermont. Mall. Now his team back on level terms here, a match they really do need to win. He's fine, he's through the middle. Denton's done well, coming through the middle of the ruck. Futu Aliki now has an urgency as he looks to get this one away. He's such a good organiser, Fa'al Saliba. Now the kick, Perez to get after this, just hanging up and coming down inside the half. Perez has done well, knocked it back there for Futu Aliki. 
Lelaw, who's having a sensational game for Samoa. Busting tackles, offloading, brilliantly taken too by Lev Arbeck. And now they've got numbers away to the left. Pissy quickly on to his brother, Nanai Williams. Just losing contact with him without to the Tabaya. But look at him stand in the tackle and deliver the pass. Barsavalu back in the action. PC now moves it on. Levabe, Lilo again. He's really cutting them up. Back comes Samoa. PC holding the ball out in front of him, turning it back to Levabe. Five metres from the line. Levabe. In fact, it's Lamb. Hit hard in the tackle. Fotoali'i. Barsavalu. Filo Paolo goes in with a big shoulder to clear it out. Numbers oh, away to the left. They're offside, Scotland. Go for the line, it's a try! It's Sakalafo! Wow! Tony, we're running out of things to see about this match. What a score from the Samoans. It's a bonus point score in the opening 35 minutes. Some of the attacking play is the best we've seen in this World Cup without a shadow of a doubt. The offloads, the angles, really long is cutting Scotland's defence apart. And Scotland are brave in defence, they're putting big hits in defence, but the attack keeps coming and coming and coming. Look at that take from Lavabe. This is Lilo gliding GMO through defences. GMO check check. Wonderful, wonderful what is that start for, to this match. Looking at potential tackle by a, a white up. player in front Score. of the ruck on blue. Oh, no, hold right. your tickets, we folks. Do white for, uh, hold all side. tickets, there's an inquiry. Check check. Suggestion that there may have been a man taken out. We're going to check it. But is that bonus against your team? If anything's wrong, then we're going back for side. Well, it will be a penalty to Samoa, but they want the try. Yep. Just have a look here. This is the angle, yeah, he's been dragged away initially, although. Oh. Just wait and see what happens here. Contact there is let Yaku, go of him, we're going to play you the first hold. angle again. Yeah. Have you got a view of the big screen? I've got a way, yeah, I've got a he's released. Around. Can we freeze the frame there, please? It's certainly interfered with our, with our ability to now, make it. Now, can you rock it back for me and hold there? Pause. Okay, so that you, you're talking about the play in goal, holding back a defender. Are you holding back blue number nine, and which clears it? the path for the ball carrier so, to go through. So that's obstruction. We cancel the try, go back for advantage. Uh, that no, is correct. It's, so, it's, 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 uh, it's not even there. So. No, it's, it's past the ball. He's holding back a potential defender. Is he affecting play? Yeah, by? he's actually. Uh, really? It's on the pillow where they score. Okay. So I'm going to go back, give you advantage offside. Okay. Well, the try is ruled out. Well, I got a little bit excited there, describing Inside. what we saw on that pitch. And I want to say, I take none of it back. Some of the skills no, here have been world well class by the Samoans. There's Greg Ridlow being held it's back. He reasonable. can't affect the tackle. No. The tunnel over as he picks and goes. Samoa still have the penalty, but we're seeing some wonderful attacking play by the Samoans. Some brave defence from Scotland. Shot. Thanks, man. Greg Ridlow. Nice right. held back. George Pacey. The guilty party. Uh, leave it over to us. Trust us. We'll find it. Okay. And so he'll just leave it to brother Tusi to slot the three. Could have been seven. Kicking tee. Yeah. Instead of kicking the conversion, he's going to attempt to kick the penalty. Stop the clock, yeah, okay. I'll go back to some of that attacking play, Tony. The, the mindset, the, the ability, Time's the execution of the Samoans. Is, is phenomenal this afternoon because they've been hit hard in the tackle by Scotland, but it's just wave after wave after wave. Just wondering, Chris Patterson, whether you think that also Samoa have somewhat dragged Scotland into a game of their liking, or Scotland are just determined to show that they can play positively attacking rugby in the, the quest to win this game? Well, absolutely, that's what Scotland want to avoid. You said they wanted a disciplined performance at the moment. It's disciplined in, re in respect to penalties, but not in respect to the structure that they'd like to play. Tussie PC, nice and easy, but what could have been seven turns out to be three. Samoa has the lead by 26 to 23 in front of this enthralled crowd here at St James's Park. Just don't react. Just don't react. Where so many artists 
Rugby's have worked this stage. So many great footballers today. We're seeing some great rugby. Russell gets the kick. Big run from the captain. And up well eventually going over the touchline. Touchline. He has made some storming runs. Taking over from Trevor Arnis, the captain. Well, I've heard of the lever. He has. He's been telling runs as well. Ten carries. 43 metres made already. He claims a kick up and he just spins right round the back. And Ross Ford as well. Just to drag him into touch and make a good tackle. Because he had a big run up at Stuart Hogg from there. Who just kissed the line there. Taken down by oh. Ryan Wilson, who really has been doing some sterling work. And again, it's John Hardy driving the ship, steering the ship from the back. <laughs> and the ship at the rocks in the form of Fal Saliba. They go to the short side, Laidlaw sniping. Put on the ground by Altana Baya. And uh, he makes the turnover too. Squirting out on the Scotland side. And now they get the penalty. Whether they should have had one just moments before. Well, so off for there. Gets over the ball, wins the penalty. Fortil, he doesn't want to waste any time. Well, Hogg letting it bounce and it goes into touch. Fortil, just keeping things moving. Jan Connors come down to the sideline. Fote Ali there wanted to make sure to get this line out in before half time. If the ball leaves his foot before the 40 minutes is up, they must play the line out. He knew that. Numbers. Yeah, five seconds to go to half time. Some more on the attack. Thank you. Well, they've lost some height at line out time, but they've gained a tremendous ball carrier in Levave. And Paolo, such a solid line out option. The referee has the arm out here. After. Well, they'll throw everything at it. TC looking for the kick out to the wing of Paul Perez, waiting for it, or oh, knocked away. Knocked away by Hogg, but the referee brings them back. And pull down. Double whammy, yeah. Right yeah, here, pull down in the line out. Double whammy, pull down on from the AR and driving on the lifter from my side. They only get one penalty. It's number yep. pull down the line and driving <laughs> into the side. It's a big decision for the Samoans. What are they going to do? They're going to take it on. They take the tap and they give it to Big Alaboti. Val Saliba, one of the stars of this exhilarating first half. TC fighting his way towards the line. Hardy's done well though. Made the tackle, released. But the ball's still there for Samoa, now it's been dropped. Talapo it was, Seymour will just get rid of it. Puts it into touch, and 41 scintillating minutes of rugby come to an end at St James's Park in Newcastle. Samoa 26, Scotland 23, Chris Patterson, 40 of the best minutes of rugby we've seen in this tournament. <laughs> wow! What a 40 minutes, what an incredible tempo set right from the kickoff from Samoa and Scotland played their part as well. Three tries for Samoa, two for Scotland, one disallowed for Samoa, penalties galore, yellow cards and what an atmosphere, what a performance, what a game. Players starting to make their way back out onto the field here at St James's Park, young and old enjoying this one. Samoa come out to join Scotland. One of the try scorers, John Hardy. A match they need to win, Scotland, but Samoa stand in their way. So Scotland will play left to right in the second half. You can see from the shot there, there's a slight incline in their favour as well. Vern Cotter has set his piece just three points behind. Such an important game in terms of Scotland qualifying. Samoa can't. They just want to leave on a positive note.
They were so disappointed with their performances early on. In fact, some of them have even apologised to their loyal fans looking to make amends to some degree today. Stunning first half. What does the second half hold in store for us here at St James's Park? So Yako Paper, who has recognised that both of these teams want to play positively and he's allowed them to do it in the first half, will signal the start of the second. And in front of just under 52,000 people, the second half starts here and it's been dropped by Paul Saliba. So turnover possession for Scotland right at the start of the second half and here's Matt Scott. Big collision there, and uh, one of the Samoan players has gone down very heavily. It's a penalty to Samoa, and I think it's, is it PC? Class of Alu, is it? Oh, yes, it is too. He's been in the wars. I think it was his own man. It was Jack Lamke. Oh, big collision. What a tackle by Lamb. Not only did he put Luke at the force in there, not only did he put that tackle and he popped back up to his feet. And from the next breakdown, he wins a penalty for his side. Well, Paasavalu is still down. He is a real warrior, one of the spiritual leaders, if you like, of this team. And who's held in such great respect. A man who actually played rugby league, would you believe, for Great Britain. And he spent time at St Helens. So he knows how to take a knock, but this one... Is that a neck knock? Well, Justice is about to say it looks serious. The Warrior gets back to his feet. Yeah, it's at the shoulder, isn't it? They're checking his really. shoulder. Maybe a stinger, what's known as a stinger. This is shooting pain. Sometimes a nerve pain if you oh. catch your shoulder or neck in an awkward position. With the old fashioned smelling songs. Yeah. It's a jack. PC puts the ball into touch. So back to halfway and once more, Fasavalu rolls up his sleeve and goes back to work at the cold face. Six, six. Manu Leotawa had a memorable first 40 minutes. The back they go. They have to mix their lineups, uh, lineouts up. Having lost Kane Thompson, but some good work has been done by Levavi there, and a good strong run from Lamb too, taking play over halfway. Faul Saliba has been imposing with ball in hand. PC popping it up to Perez. Not too many opportunities for him. In fact, this one results in a penalty. He's got a man in front of him obstructing the defence. Yeah, Scotland forcing that out of the rail by getting off the line, bringing line speed, putting the Samoan attack under pressure. And just Perez, just a judge to be blocking, coming in behind. Just for the same channel. Take the ball from behind and then being blocked. That's just in the same channel. Well, they force the line out midway 22 and goal line. The big roar going up again. Wall of sound here from the Scottish supporters as Big Richie Gray goes high. Denton has it. Trying to sneak players through. Some more. Scotland have got it. Hardy fires it away to make Roy take it high. Just getting a little fractious. I think it was Fatal Saliba with the tackle. Paul Lord, Richie Gray having worked. It's getting a bit spicy. The high tackle, the penalty. As Sean Maitland was the first receiver, steps inside. 
initially high. Just a penalty. Paolo comes in and finishes off with a legal shot. But the first one's high. Now, just a little shed meeting here. Meeting of the committee and the decision to go for the corner. What do you think, Chris Patterson? Well, well, um, the score from this position in the first half, which is a good decision. They've, they've gone to the touchline quite often. I probably would have kicked that, but you know what? I'll probably be proven wrong here as a catch and drive. Who knows? Well, they know they have to win. And to win against the Samoa team, you have to score. Tries, no, they've got that all wrong. And look at Mori for Barcelona. Yeah, you don't have to win it in the 44th minute, Tony. I think, you know, to chip that over, bring it level, keep the pressure on Samoa. I can understand why they've done that. A good defence by the Samoans. They win the penalty, piece is going to clear. Well, again, I just take you back to that suggestion that yep. oh, these men, Samoa, have drawn Scotland well, the into an all-out attacking game. Ball. Just got this Numbers? signal. Five. Got in front of him, Five. can't do that. Now that was almost what happened when Scotland scored when Hardy scored his try in the first half. By that time, they did detach, it was clear, in the, the back of Nell, and it was deemed to be offside. Ball out. Getting up to challenge Scotland. Samoa oh, have it, and here's Van Savalu looking for the offload. Oh, what an offload! To Lilo! He's got Perez! Oh, he's fired it away, he's given it to Seymour! TC with a big hit on Seymour. Oh, he opened them up like a can of beans. And now they get the penalty. Yeah, smart play from Laidlaw. Let's, let's settle things down here. He's hiding the rock. Well, no, second player, yeah. Lilo has been unbelievable in the line break. Number. Look at that yeah. pass, pass of Alu. Slightly forward, but up. look at this. Right and then the just camera. pass, just pass, two hands. Feed Perez, your flying winger, but he decides to go out the back door. And the opportunity's gone. Oh, an opportunity's been missed because the kick hasn't gone into touch. And PC, well, he thought about opening it up. And then decided discretion, the better part of Valor. There he is. What a warrior. Well, watch this offload out of the back of the hand. And then Lilo, well, he's got all the time in the world. He's got the gas to get away from Ford. And then, well, two hands, simple pass. There'll be coaches, there'll be school teachers all over the world saying, do the basics right. Fix the man, give the pass. But you can't take away from the quality he has in order to break the line initially. Richie Gray doing great work in the line-out for Scotland. He, Ryan Wilson, the main targets. And this time, they get the drive right. Although, referee, I think, holding the arm out here. It's a penalty. Now, what is Scotland going to do now? Second ball. Are they committed to going for the line-outs? Or is Laidlaw going to take a shot? His decision. Well, I think from here, they'll go in the corner again. It's... Um, that's a 10 metre line you see, and maybe what, 10 metres in from touch as well, so it's a big kick. It makes more sense to go to the touch line with this one, and that's what they've done. They've driven every line out so far in the second half. You, they're looking to tighten the game up, and I think we'll go here as well. But they have to have the discipline not to be turned over, not to split, to drive as eight, not as individuals. Well, we're in an absolute scoring drought at the moment. We've had seven minutes <laughs> of the second half and no points. Money back. Time it's Johnny Gray taking it down. Goes down in a bit of a heat. The referee says no collapse. Got to get rid of this. Oh, good defence. And well, they're rolling the dice on these kicks for touch, and at the moment they're not getting a dividend out of them. Well, they've got one in the first half, but I think there's maybe one for about six or seven. Tremendous effort by the Samoan defence, one or two inaccuracies from Scotland, but credit to the Samoan defence. Ben Cotter will be disappointed. A lot of opportunity has gone begging, but it's all pressure on Samoa. It's so dangerous with the ball in hand, Samoa. They can score from anywhere, so territory is not too important for them. But they've got an opportunity to clear the lines here, or you know what, we may see them attack. So dangerous with the ball in hand. Well, it's a special rivalry, this one, started back in 1991. Five. 
at Murrayfield. Set. Scotland on their way to the semi-finals against the Samoan team announcing their arrival on the world stage. The scrum breaks up, but they've got the ball away, and here's another great run. Alpana Baya, but he loses the ball, jolted away from him in the tackle of Sean Maitland. Well, the two number sevens have been... We picked them out before the match, the two number sevens had a huge impact. Ra Lamb for Samoa and Hardy for Scotland. Watch this. Bang! The tackle Stay square. was initially low from Not Seymour, uh, sorry, from Maitland, yeah. and then you see Hardy Stay coming in out of shot Stay from close. the left hand side, finishing off. Huge collision, bang, dislodges the ball and turns it over for Scotland. Yeah, you can see Laidlaw there. Suggesting they should have been given a free kick. Scotland scrum just starting to gain an edge. And the arm goes out from Yako Paper. It's coming around the corner. Well, Jaco Piper penalizing some ones for not driving square, not pushing square. Not pushing straight. Driving around the corner. This time they're going for goal. Bit of a roar goes up from the crowd. Yeah, you can see number one yeah. on this side. It's awful. Stepping round, pushing in at the angle. That's what we mean by not driving straight. Scotland come away with a penalty, and interestingly, as you say, they decided to kick for goal. This is one of the probably tougher efforts at goal. Uh, compared to some they've turned down. But it's important for Scotland to get points for this dominance. In regard to territory and possession, I think they do the a pretty good job of shoving you backwards or stemming the tide, so it's a use at once. On the model, yeah, on so late law, they ten metres in from the right back, wing so touch. To level it up at 26, all, and he's done it. Yeah, he's wrong. Meets that with Scotland support inside St James Park, and Greg Laidlaw makes it look so easy. He doesn't take a long time over his kicks. He just lines it up, and it looks like he just chips it right down the middle every time. Good courage, good commitment, good leadership from the little halfback. So the scores are level again. It's 26 all, 11 minutes into the second half. And here's PC going with this restart. Kicking out to his right this time. Seymour going up for it. And the Perez there to put him on the ground. Oh, Hardy is always keen to carry. No. Russell. Oh, partially de oh, deflected and oh, great read. This is Wilson. It's all blue, play on. Referee says play on. And Samoa are going to get the ball back inside their own half. Good awareness of the laws there from Ryan Wilson, realising that he was onside from that deflected kick. Now the ball scrambled out untidily. Lilo stepping, probing, and now tackled. Penalised though, Samoa. And here's a chance for Scotland to hit the front. And worryingly for Samoa, their best attacking weapon, Tim Nunai Williams, is down, and it's that left knee again. Yeah, it's heavily strapped, isn't it? Uh, Stuart Hogg as well. He's down. Looks more like Grant. The two number 15s getting treatment. Just even from the side, he's been trying to survive there. Okay. Uh, the penalty there. Jacob Pipers describing coming in inside a clear out from the side. This is Lilo almost wriggling free again, at number two. Leotawa coming in from the side, he's got to come round, come from his own side and drive over. WP now getting himself over the ball. And an opportunity for Greg Laidlaw to kick Scotland into the lead. Well, how about that for goal kicking success? Six attempts. Make it seven from seven. And the skipper puts Scotland in front, 29 to 26. Yeah, again, Greg Ridlow, he makes it look so easy, chipping the ball over. That's the first time Scotland have been ahead in this game. 
54 minutes into the game. You see Greg Laidlaw doing his job, leading his team, guiding them around the field, chipping the points over. Let's see how Samoa hit back. Josh Strauss is on for Scotland. Hogg is in the action. Haven't seen too much of him with ball in hand yet. High kick out towards the touchline. Bottle Saliba gets past Hogg. No. Grabs a hold of his jersey, puts him down just on halfway, but it's there for Samoa. PC. Lamb sees off Hardy. That takes a bit of doing. Now he loses the ball. Oh, he says he regathered it. Oh, great skill. Nanai Williams. Beautiful pass away. This is George PC showing his strength taking play down to the 10 meter mark to see pc moving on johnston going in just a little upright but still able to deliver Scotland, good. Uh, strauss coming through the middle lilo he's just looking to beat defenders now nanai williams takes play over halfway again to see pc moves it on for asavalu Wrestle to the ground, still can't get it over halfway here, Samoa, and the ball's been ripped away by Scotland. Great work from Hogg. Gray moves it on, Hardy smashed. No one, no one. It was PC came flying in on him. That's George PC. But Scotland still have it. And a penalty. Well, these penalties just starting to mount up against Samoa. And they're starting to prove costly. Yeah, 13 penalties, that's a 14 considered that man, George PC. Well, there was nothing wrong with this tackle. Came out to him. Well, it's a little bit higher in second viewing. Hardy sits down and got what a collision. The collisions, A in the tackle and B at the breakdown now, are so fierce. Paper's quite satisfied with that. That the collision was around the chest, no, the shoulder. It's just all about the tackle there. Oh, yeah, no play on. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Good. <laughs> Waving the, the kicking tee on. He's got to go for a bit long range, but I tell you what, the physicality in this game and the tackle and the breakdown, it's just ramping up. We may have slowed the strike rate down in regard to points, but I tell you what, the physicality, the determination still there. Uh, we're getting to that part of the tournament where some people are finding it very hard to watch. Some of us can't get enough of it. Some of us, particularly those in the how to lose your hair very quickly society, i.e. the coaches, all getting a bit tough. Laidlaw, well out this time, got plenty on it. Drifting towards the posts and just away to the right. Well, <laughs> hands on your head, time. That wasn't far away at all. Just drifted to the right. It's the longest effort of the day. Oh, well. Well, well. Uh, maybe he can okay. get the next one, eh? We'll take it now. Bye-bye, Tuilangi. Getting ready to come on. His brother very controversially suspended out of this match. Had the suspension reduced. Oh, Laidlaw goes into some heavy contact. Lamb making the tackle. But He's missed it. Nuggety Scotland halfback winning it back. Now Denton makes a run. Strauss. They were waiting for him. Such force going into these tackles. Senses Johnston. Playing for it, but couldn't get it. Now Nell, Levavet up on him. Use it. Some of these hits starting to appear on the Richter scale. And here's Hop. A dancer, nice offload, but Maitland slipped. And on the short side for Mark Bennett. Looking to control possession here, Denton. Another penalty at the breakdown, this time goes to Samoa, holding on. He survived, on. he lifted his legs, but he survived. Lamb it was. First man in, seven. Yes. David Denton getting up, Lamb got over the top of him in good position. Yeah, I've seen a, a rule 
contrast and how Scotland are ball. trying to play now. They're driving lineouts, they're taking one out runners, they're going the direct route. They don't want this game to open up anything at all like it did in the first half. There's Lab with another big hit this time on Seymour. That's a good one because he arrived. But He's not Scotland have been more direct, more disciplined because of fear. The wonderful attacking skills of the Samoans if the game gets loose. Yes, Tommy Seymour, one of the try scorers it was. It's a special relationship between these countries, of course. A lot of it has to do with a very famous Scotsman, Robert Louis Stevenson, who went to the South Pacific for health reasons and lies at rest on Mount Fire, which overlooks Apia. The Samoa capital forging yeah, sounds like it. a link that will never be broken. Turalangi is on. Anthony Peranese is on. And Alafoti Fao Saliba, who's had a very strong game, leaves the field. New Away to the crowd too is Johnston. Sir, ties off. And Talapu Are you in? come off. Yeah. So Afatia on as well. Viliamu Afatia. So they've changed both props out. And brought on the new number eight, Samoa, as they try and regain the lead here. Once! Defended well here. Denton's come through, wrapped his arms around. And Samoa will need to clear this or they'll lose it. Oh, Denton's done superbly. Now Laidlaw, sniped away on the short side, Seymour put into touch, fired it back and field. Up a tier, how about that for skill from the big man? But in the end, he's driven over the touch line by the hard-working WP now. Well, David Denton did wonderful well at the mall to turn the ball over, he came through the middle, got his hands on the ball. And then Greg Laidlaw opted to go down the short side. But Tommy Seymour in support for that man, Up well, he thought, I'll just intercept the ball, I'll hand off one or two. He was driven out of touch in the end. An opportunity for Scotland to clear the lines there. Now Ross Ford, the throw to the line out. Denton well, misses the throw. And more great skill from Manu Leotawa. What a game he is having. So here's a chance for Samoa off the line out turnover. Lamb. Release. 30 metres out from the line here. Four away. Ball's available. He did his best. To Ali'i. And the right to PC. Double pump. Really on. And uh, Nanai Williams, so he's done well to smuggle that away to Lilo. Now he'll look to buy himself a moment. Oh, no penalty. Around the neck. Around the neck. Yeah, that's a neck roll, isn't it? Don't worry. Really clear. Right. See what Jack and Piper has to say. Just a moment. Just a moment. No, no, I didn't yeah. say advice. I said he did his best. He was shot. So there's no one. Anyway, foul play overrides any other decision. Yeah, uh, you cleared him out around the neck. It's yeah. been only, only, but don't do it again, please. Okay. Yeah. Well, Levave, the man, penalised. Around the neck. Yeah, it's in John Hardy. John Hardy, number seven, gets over the ball, working hard as he always does a breakdown. And Very then good Levave, pitchy, Yako. you can't twist the player, you can't roll the player. You're not allowed certainly okay. to go anywhere near the neck or the head, and that was right under the nose. And Jaco Piper. Spelt out before the tournament started. Change coming up for Scotland. Tim Swinson about to come on. The penalty starting to be a bit of a worry. Samoa now conceding 15 to 10. One of the Gray brothers about to come on. Uh, come off, I should say. Well, they've lost possession at line out time. Now another penalty. This time taking the man in the air. In the so this should be 15 metres in field and a chance now for Laidlaw to attack another three onto Scotland's lead. Here's that change. Just seeing who's coming off. Nobody wants to come off. <laughs> Swinson's on, nobody wants to come off. It's Johnny Gray, the younger the two brothers. Fantastic player. He calls the line out as well. Great young player, great Scottish talent. Well, he idolised his brother, but many believe that in time he could become an even better player than Big Ritchie. Mm -hmm. 
it's echoed by the support here. Look at the reception he gets. He puts everything he has in his performance for Glasgow and for Scotland. Did you have a number there for me, Mario? There's a bit of a rumour that there's a sign on the road just north of Berwick that says last one out, turn off the lights. <laughs> I think half, most of Scotland's here today, aren't they? <laughs> I think so. And enjoying it as well. Uh, rumoured to be, uh, rumoured to be 100,000 in Newcastle. The fans only scores last week breathe. when the South Africans in town couldn't get any more supporters in. And they'll all be hoping the Scottish ones. Greg Little chips this over. Well, these are important points. And it's a good kick. No. There was a bit of a buzz around the crowd behind the post, but then it just turned into a hum of disappointment. Oh, tense times. <laughs> See you, big fella. <laughs> That's also a bit no, he's, uh, yeah, everyone is just so, so on edge, isn't it? Look at Vern Cotter passing the messages on downstairs. Usually, on a missed goal kick, if you miss to the left, there's a right footer. There's more wrong than if you miss right. So Greg Lee will be disappointed with that one. It's nail-biting time for the Scotland fans. Scotland leading 29 to 26. Tommy Seymour put on the ground. Just this flow of penalties. Scotland the chance to take control. Russell, the double pump, and then a nice straight run from Richie Gray in his 50th. And Scott with two tees. Gray again. The pass from Hooker Ford. Russell, bobbing and weaving. And, uh, well, nice skills from Big. WP Nell. Man who used to play as rugby in South Africa. And here he is again. And he's driven back in the tackle by Tuilangi. It's far more direct than Scotland, isn't it? You're working the short side, not taking any risks. And Swinson with a carry. Gray again. And Ford. Gray goes in to help out, the work rate of Richie Gray, just phenomenal, Russell moving on to it now, gets the pass away, it's been knocked well forward. Hogg complaining, I think, that someone was hanging on, referees having none of it, it's a knock-on by the Scotland fullback, just as things were building. Well, that was the first time in that phase, those phases of play, that Scotland gave two passes, everything else was off a one-pass play, really direct. This time, Finn Russell pops it wide, Hogg, well... I think if disappointed with that, he takes his eyes off and looks at PC. Well, he hasn't got a case, Hogg, and remember, he got into a bit of trouble early on in the tournament. He got an absolute lecture from uh, Nigel Owens now trying to milk a penalty. Yeah, he's disappointed with that, isn't he? He knows he, he will still have a big impact in this game, and hopefully, from the Scotland's perspective, this tournament, a wonderful attacking player. So quick, so sharp on his feet. But he'd be disappointed with that one. Stuart Hogg. You can see Ross Ford okay. getting a little bit of treatment as well. Yeah. Change it hooker, Fraser Brown, who started the last game against Japan, comes on for Ross Ford, who's put in a good shift today. Yeah, Ross Ford, such an experienced campaigner, such a, a vital man. You see Nick Nathan Hines walking up with him, part of the coaching staff now for Scotland. A Scottish great, Meg Hines it. The Fraser Brown, the man who's replacing Ross Ford, he, he used to play open side flanker. He's good over the ball, he'll bring a dimension, an extra dimension to the attack, and he's a big, big tackle as well. Scotland trying to put the shove on, but Samoa control it, they give it to Perez. Rolling forward to present the ball to Ilangi. The first from him, now they move it through the hands. George Pesey on to Nanai Williams. Runs straight at Matt Scott who puts him on the ground. Now Lamb bouncing out of the first tackle. That of Strauss. Now Pesey hooking the kick back. Well, he's kicked it right to a whole heap of players. And it's... Laidlaw puts body on the line to tidy it up for Scotland. Russell goes into play at half-back. Now Maitland, that's an awful pass through the legs of Bennett. And, uh, it's been ripped away. 
Stripped something, but then regain. Oh, Seymour again. Well, stripped by White and regain. Tigerish, isn't he? Tommy Nothing Seymour. Cool. He's strong in contact, Tommy Seymour. He's a, a try scorer as well. He sniffs out opportunities. Lost. Razor Brown takes play up to the 10 metre mark and Laidlaw puts it high. Tussie Pisi waiting underneath it. Easy for him. Now, Nunai Williams a chance to wind up and get on the outside. Oh, there were numbers outside and we're coming back and field fast. Savalu. Here's big Philo Paolo. Old Tungabaya. Maitland tried to get him over the touchline and does so. Well, there was an opportunity there. They had to move the ball quickly to the left. And in the end, they took play back and field and the chance rather lost for Samoa to stretch the Scotland defence. Yeah, it's not well, it wasn't it? He looked up, we saw the second row. Yeah. Richie Gray ahead of him. And Richie Gray pulled off a wonderful tackle as Nana Williams tried to go on the outside. And then Maitland finished off. Here's the time I look at the point scored in the first half. It was just punch and counter punch all the way and it's much more sensible in the second half. Only two penalties from Scotland. Far more direct play, less risky. But the game's still in the balance. Gray again. Showing his international class, world class player which he gray in the second He's world cup hardy and a good run from russell up the middle maitland comes in looking for the ball and makes good ground there it is for scotland they've got numbers away to the left here it's the hook of brown out in midfield bounce off Basavalu. There for Laidlaw, Russell trying to stab one through, loose ball off brilliantly, scooped up fast, Savalu doesn't stay down for long, does he? And now Samoa looking to move the ball out of their own territory, the dangerous Altangavaya, the chip and chase, he's after it, if it sits up anything could happen, Altangavaya fighting them off, oh rather rolls the ball away into the path of Mark Bennett. And again, the crowd rise. Hogg, he tries to stab one through. Knocked away by Pussy PC, and he's been penalised here. There was a play off the ball, I think. Wow. Yeah, tackle off the ball. Just off the kick. I'm committed there. Yeah. I'll turn the buyer. Yeah. Opted to try yeah, and keep so. the ball alive yeah, rather than right. just take it into the tackle and wait for support to yeah. arrive. Let's have a look and see what happens. Well, this here. is a penalty. Hogg dribbles it through, and then after that, we're looking for a, a late tackle. Greg, you've got a, uh, you've got a choice. Well, I don't think a lot in that. I think you yeah. could, could almost say that the ball was deliberately. <laughs> well, he looked fully yeah. the touch as well. Fully committed to the tackle yeah. as the kick got away. I think it's a tough one. Bird yeah, Cotter will take it. Your, your mark is on the other side of halfway. Oh, sorry, sorry, I just got the mark. It's a long range penalty. Yeah. It looks Thank like. You. And it's three metres towards the touch touch You've got a couple of wrong legs penalty experts. Yeah, Shoot Hawk and bang them over from a long way out. Mark Penny can go from distance. And they're going to the touch line again. Jackie no, Milburn stand named after one of the great players who've graced this ground. Think of Kevin Keegan, Alan Shearer, Paul Gascoigne, Peter Beardsley. But it's rugby territory today. It looks like Hobbs leaving the field here. And what a moment for Sean Lamont. The crowd stand, the Scotland winger, becomes just the second player to play. 100 test matches for his country. More about that in a moment, but here are the Scotland forwards driving the ball towards the Samoa line. There it is for Laidlaw. Russell the chip through. Awkward, but nicely taken. No, they'll come back. There was a penalty and a double blast of the whistle here. It's probably not cynical at this point yet, but there's been a few side injury penalties in the air yeah. at most. So you have to clean it up. And more time. Yeah, uh, it's definitely. Yeah, you have. Well, and another decision for Bentley. It looks like they're going to the touch as well because for the last drive was effective. Fotelis yeah. had the 
The lecture from Jaco Piper. This is a good drive again. It's Hardy who has the ball on the back. Side, I had two on your side. And they slide That's up this right hand three. channel. You can see there's no defenders there. Eventually it was brought to deck. Not a huge amount wrong with that from the Samoans. They're defending pretty fairly. Yeah. He's got one well. There's Sean Lamont. What a fantastic occasion. Really? What a fantastic achievement. 100 caps for his country. Well, he joins the man sitting alongside me, Chris Patterson. And it is a great honour and pleasure to be working with Chris. The first man to do it for Scotland. And now there are two. Nice. 10 and 11. What a big impact in Scottish rugby has Sean Lamont. Powerful player. Longevity, dealing with adversity, dealing with injuries, and now he's on the, the field. And what's a crucial game in the last he's 10 minutes. Well, Ken PC is coming on, but the whole family aren't out there because it's Tussy, one of the players, leaving. And uh, Patrick Papale is on as well. So it changes for Samoa, and now Scotland. Look to take the match by the scruff of the neck. Maybe put it away. Laidlaw has it. Just has a glance around. Forwards queuing up away to his left. It's Brown. Denton takes it just a couple of metres short of the line. Nil now. Strauss. Peels off to the left, Strauss. Will they give it to him? No. Dickinson. No. Now they go to the right. Russell! Ball's been knocked down. Picked up though by Brown. Scotland still five metres out from the line. Denton with Gray driving him towards the line. Big moments in the World Cup here for Scotland. Strauss moves it on to Swinson. Samoa holding. Nell says, I'll take this. And the big South African makes a couple of metres towards the post. Swinson. Another penalty advantage from Yako Paper. It's a try though. It's WP nil. Well, the referee's not convinced. He's on his knees as Yako Paper. He's going to go upstairs. WP nil driving to the line. Yako Paper's enjoying himself. Just check upstairs. He's going to check upstairs. I see survival, Initially, it looked ben, he was held up, but he may have got it Jaco, down. I do not have a grounding. Try no try, please. Checking footage. Try no try. Yeah. We're checking. We're checking try, no try. Yeah. Here we go. WP now. It is offside. First bullet of defence was offside, so it's penalty over there. Fote Ali's knee underneath it there. Does he manage to get the ball out? This is where I sit in guys on the board. Uh, yeah. yeah. I need it looks survive. like Fote Ali's managed to hold yeah. that up. On, on the balance side. About three seconds on him. Well, again, the answer I mean, is in the, is in the question. Like he has <laughs> to have proof that the ball has been grounded. Foto Aliti here may have done so, may have done something quite heroic, stopping the big prop from getting the ball down. Thank you. I have a decision. Yes, Ben. Yako, the ball is held up. Held up. Yes. I go back for my pull offside yes. penalty. It's still a penalty, but no, no try. try. Penalty for offside first penalty. pillar. No try. Samoa survives, but for how much longer? Well, Fotel, you take him out. What a wonderful challenge to get his left leg underneath the ball. After a series of picking goals and drives from the Scottish plan, the Samoan defence held out. And this is a big scrum right under the sticks, right between the posts. Scotland can attack left to right. Oh, the third option is just straight down the middle. Will they keep it in? Will they go for the line? This is a big, big scrum. Well, the Scotland fans who aren't roaring are biting their fingernails to the elbow. As Matu'u comes on, Motu Matu'u. So Manu Leapawa, who's had a sensational game for Samoa. 
Is that Absolutely, a try scorer, but sensational around the pass. His basics have been good in set piece. And what a scrum for Matu to come on to straight off the bench into this corner. They lead by three. A try here, surely. And they're into the quarterfinals. Another penalty advantage. Laid low! Oh, the captain's in! Greg Laidlow, Morito, the little general has kicked his goals. He's guided Scotland around the park. Look at the support, look at the relief on that man Berg in his face. Oh, there's a royal relief as well. Greg Laidlaw, determined, tough as old boots. Picks up the loose ball, snipes from the edge and stretches through the tackle and slams it down for his try. A fourth try in international rugby for Greg Laidlaw. Has there ever been a more important one than that? Well, the decision to go for the scrum, the decision to kick to the line, keep the pressure on Samoa, has been justified there. He made the decisions, he set up the opportunities, the scrum was good. And he just took the space, he had to work hard to get over, the Samoan defence has been incredible. And he had to access too. again yeah, no, this is the scrum was skewed the ball came out to put a penalty advantage fast to believe it's just a little slow off the back of the ruck the back of the scrum sorry photo lead drift wide great lead law shows him goes and look at the delight well Samoa have taken the restart taking it forward as far pallet Lamb, well, they have to respond immediately. They've done that most times that Scotland have scored. Certainly they did in the first half, Samoa, but time's running out on them. Now Futuali'i, away it goes to Levave. 26 points in the game for Laidlaw, but at the moment he's on defence. The kick stabbed through by Fa'apale. Oh! Getting back was Maitland. Uh, he's carried over his own line. A short Maitland, lovely grubber kick through, all the pressure coming on. Just a lovely little thing through for Vapali. Can you see that? Maitland carries over, touches okay. down. He's cool under the situation. I'm not sure many of else. Others are. Well, there's Sean Maitland. The kick through came from Patrick Vapali. His opposite number, Peter Horn, is on for Scotland. And uh, Matt Scott goes off. Patrick Fa'apalit, a very clever player, one of the few players in this Samoan team who's actually based in Samoa. There he is, plays for the Viala Rugby Club in Apia. His Rugby World Cup debut, and his first touch was almost a scoring touch. Have you? Yes, Moans, they hit back you. every time in the first half, didn't they? They should have Scotland scored points some more, hit back. Jack. Yeah. Well, they score here, well. and it's <laughs> all on for the last few minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good opportunity, isn't it? If they get okay. a good scrum. Time's Far Pali will be pulling the strings. Oh, there's square. another nail biter. Good side square. <laughs> It's all about the scrum here. If you get a solid base, you can launch any sort of attack five metres out. Well, if Samoa are going to have any chance of going home on a winning note, they have to strike now. They were stunning in the first half. Scotland have edged ahead. Can they find a way back into the game? The scrum screws, it's picked up and driven towards the line by Tuilangi. They're close, but they're not over. Teranise over the ball. Has a dive, can't make it. Just short. Tulangi again over it. Now the ball's been spelt penalty. Offside. On back, sealing it up, I think. 
going off the feet. Yeah, oh, well, he, he's going to take a tap. And they give it to Fasabalu. Now Philo Paolo. Scotland have to defend. The ball spells loose. It's another penalty. And now Scotland have to be careful. Take it quickly. Fasabalu puts his head down. Away it goes on the right, the ball back and field, Mataru scores! Oh, and now it is all on! Wow! Two and a half minutes to go, Alessandro Tulani, he's on his toes, he's on his feet, as of the Samoan support. We said Samoa hit back after Scotland four points in the first half. Mota Matu scores his first international try from the lovely inside ball. Bludgeoned towards the line. Lovely time. I think it's Lavavi just popping the ball back inside. Matu scores. Wow. Might have actually been Lamb, I think. The, time we the kick from Fatapale is over. And look out. It is, it is Jack Lamb's ball inside. Draws and Mark Bennett. And Motu goes underneath his opposite number. Fraser Brown's tackle. Scoring. It's a two minute ball game. Three points in it. What a finish. If Scotland were going any slower back to halfway, they'd be walking backwards. They are taking their time. Oh, the Scotland fans will need to eat dinner tonight. Feasting on their fingernails. What an occasion, Tony. What a game. That's what a combative performance on both sides. What a and privilege. it's still in the balance. What a privilege to be here. Russell puts it deep. Samoa will throw everything at it. And they start with Big Baba Tuilangi. Oh, look at the determination of the big man. Now they work it into a bit of space for Lamb. Is Scotland going to be denied here? No, oh, the ball bounces away off the head of Levavet. Scotland have it. They've just got to control the ball now. Seymour fighting his way forward though. <laughs> Nervous glance up from Sean Maitland. Last. 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, now gets rid of it. Knock. Denton. No, advantage is over for the knock. Leave it void. <laughs> Laidlaw yes. takes it back to the short side and Maitland trying to rip the ball away from him was for Asabalu. He's had a phenomenal game. Denton now, they come at him. PC leading the charge. That's Ken PC. The, the crowd counting the clock down. Scotland into the quarterfinals. Wow, what a noise in St. James's Park. Greg Laidlaw, the man who scored 26 points. Has the last word in the game, chips are in the touch. The Samoans are broken hearted. They couldn't have given any more. There's Lamb, he was outstanding. Nana Williams was on fire in the first half. But Scotland, well, they dealt with the fire, they dealt with the physicality. And they fought back to win. What an incredible game. One of the best games the Rugby World Cup I've seen. Well, the Samoans, true to their faith. It looks like disappointment. Those players take a knee and offer up thanks and prayer. They have played their part in an absolutely stunning exhibition of rugby here, but it's Scotland who've come from behind to win it and earn a place in the quarterfinals of Rugby World Cup 2015. They have beaten Samoa here by 36 points to 33, and this is the moment, this is the moment that saw Scotland through and how fitting that this man should be the, the man to put it into touch. Yeah, you see the raw emotion coming out, the law of delight in the scans. I tell you what, that was some game. We keep saying it and we'll say it again, but the, the first half was an incredible display of attack and rugby. And then in the true spirit, the true values of the game, look at that, the handshakes, the congratulations, mates. Off the field, Warriors on the field, and the respect between the teams, absolutely fantastic. Well, Scott Johnson, you can see down there with a familiar figure in the grey hair, Vern Cotter, 
Well, he's got no here left. That's what coaching will do to you. But his team have come up big. They've had to show great courage because Samoa absolutely took the game to them in the first half. Now listen as the crowd salutes the players. Calm commiserations, um, another loss, but was that the real Samoa we saw today? I think it was just a little bit of the real Samoan um, rugby style. Just shows we can play a little bit out there and um, you know, I'm just proud of my boys who really needed to front up and you know, personally we needed to front up as a team and, and we did, we, we stuck in there and we gave ourselves a chance to win. Unfortunately, once again, we didn't cross the white line, but um, you know, I'm proud of the boys. All in all, your view of the, of the World Cup hasn't quite gone to plan, has it? No, it definitely hasn't. Um, you know, we had high, high expectations. We knew to take uh, week by week. Uh, each team was a difficult um, game. That's, that's World Cup. That's what it's all about. You know, teams putting teams under pressure and whoever comes out on the day uh, gets the result they want. And um, unfortunately for us, it's been hard, it's been tough, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully uh, get back into it and um, fix things up. How important was it for, for you and, and the fans back home to put in a poor performance today? Um, for us as a whole, very important. Um, like I said, that was only a little bit of what we can do and you know, it shows we, we know how to play rugby. Uh, once again, uh, a couple of ill-disciplined moments, but um, it's footy, eh? we, we, we love to uh, compete. That's what it's all about. You've got to compete hard. It's rugby. Um, You've got to enjoy it also. And um, you know, We needed to get a good performance out there. And unfortunately, again, you know, we didn't cross that white line. Thanks very much and all the best in the future. Well, let's now hear from the man who proved the difference between the two teams today. Greg Laidlaw is standing by with Ollie. Greg, what an incredible game of rugby. You've made it to the quarterfinals. Uh, I'm a little bit speechless at the minute. I think at times in the game we probably tried our best to give it away, but uh, the boys dug in deep at the end. That's what we've spoken about for the last two months. And, uh, you know, we've done a good job in the end. Have you ever scored a more important try? Uh, I don't think so. You know, we had them under a bit of pressure. That I just thought I'd take an opportunity. Came back off the left and, you know, I'd managed to just get to the line. What was this crowd like and what does it mean to Scotland to get through? It was incredible today. We knew we were going to get a big crowd. You know, that, that victory was for them as much as it was for us. They support us through thick and thin. And I think just coming in on the bus, we, we saw how special it was. Well, many congratulations and good luck in the quarters. Cheers. Wonderful scenes at the end of the game. On behalf of Chris Patterson, Tony Johnson, wishing you well wherever you are in the world. I hope you've enjoyed this match. <laughs>